Hi guys, it's Wild Chick One here. <laughs> um, I guess I could say it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, I haven't really uh, been making a lot lately, and I'm gonna try to make this uh, as quick of a video as I possibly can. <laughs> um, so uh, we have midterms this week, and that's been going okay. But I'm studying, and like I'm going nuts and of course like that's all I'm focused on um but I just <sighs> goals goals is what is thing uh, goals are things we set to um goals are things we set so that we have something to achieve so that we have reasons, you know, to live. I mean, we have all this time on this earth. Hopefully, I hope most of us have a lot of time on this earth. Um, and we try to fill up that time with certain things. Um, so my biggest goals right now, well, at least um, they were, um, were weight loss and academic success. Um, and I'm sorry I'm finding it so hard to talk right now. This is never like me, but I've just been, for the past six hours, <laughs> I did something that's completely not me at all. I've been vegging out in front of the DTV for six hours, literally since the time I got home. It's like, what time is it right now? 5.49. Since I got home, I've been just vegging out and just watching TV and eating ice cream. I just felt like absolute shit. I came home, and I left my phone at home because I thought it was midterms. I didn't really see a reason why I needed to bring my phone to school, I guess. And then I got a... I, um... I got a text from uh, a person, and... Uh, I'm sorry, I keep saying in and out. I just cannot think straight. I'm, I really wanted to make this video... A friend of mine told me that I should make a video about the goals I'm setting, about I'm trying to restart my life, I'm trying to just make a new chapter, but I've been trying to make a new chapter since I was 13 years old. I've been trying to just keep going and going and going, and it just, there's a humongous pain in my chest that I don't even know what to do about. I, I just, I really, 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 really hate talking about it, and I, uh, all I can think about is all the important people in my life that don't aren't there anymore and like that was my rock having someone to talk to 24 7 and having friends that you know that I met in real life who I could just see and one I lost um, I I was texting her and calling her, and we had a really, really great friendship. I mean, she was about to move down the street from me, and I was like, sweet! And this girl was amazing. She's still, I mind, she's still amazing, but I mean, I tried calling her and texting her, and then all of a sudden, she just stopped answering my text messages. And she said she wasn't able to hang out, but then I'd see her hanging out with other people. And then one day, I came over to our house to invite her to go to my birthday party. Uh, it was a big birthday for me. I'm not going to say which one it was, but it was a big birthday for me. Um, and... Uh, her, she said, I talked to her dad and he said he'd call her, but he never did. And one day I got really fed up and sent her a text. But I heartfully regret setting. And every single time, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But, I mean, I'm, I'm straight, but it's ridiculous because this is going to sound like a love story. <laughs> but every time um, I see her at school, it just breaks my heart so much. Because it just, it feels like it went like that. And then... I pride myself in my friendships. They mean so, so, so much to me. I can't even begin to tell you. So when I lose a friend, it, it, it shatters me. And But I think it's important to upload this video, mainly because mainly because my mom around Christmas time, and I don't know if you guys have parents who do this. They um, they 
talk about how great your kids are and they're gloating and my mom does it a lot these days. She thinks I'm, she talks about how I'm, uh, I was on the honor roll and how I'm taking on a biology and about how I teach CCD and she talks about all these accomplishments, accomplishments, accomplishments of mine and I feel so bad every single time she gives one of them because I know that for every accomplishment there's a really, 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 really bad part of me. Um, I've made a lot of freaking mistakes. I love you too, Mom! Sorry, my mom, she's always telling me she loves me. It's even if she's in, like, a funny mood. Um. I still haven't got to the point of the video, so I, I, anyways. The point is, guilt can be a killer. And I, I made a really big mistake that I've been guilty on. And, um, I posted a status to my, to the internet one day. And it said something to the fact, something to the base of, uh, girls, um, respect your bodies and make sure if you have a guy in your life, respect him. I am someone who is deeply Christian. I'm deeply Christian and I just like, I just like, you, Jesus, God is like, I don't even know how it happened. I mean, I just like, I've always been like this person who's just like, it's in, it's embedded in me. I, I feel like somehow, sometime, Jesus touched me or whatever, and I just, for whatever reason, I feel like I just called to do this. I don't even know, understand why. Because it goes, my religious side goes against my teenage side. And then, uh, it's like <laughs> two different things going inside of me. And so when I do a really bad mistake, that's something that's teenage related, I guess you could say. Um... My Christian side takes over, and I'm begging God for forgiveness and trying to promise him I won't make the same mistake and trying to tell myself that I won't make the same mistake. I believe that, I believe that like, Marilyn Monroe, like Marilyn Monroe said, a, lady sh a girl should wear clothes tight enough to show that she's a woman, but loose enough she should show she's a lady. And I think that's something that every girl should live by. Um, but... I guess you could say I get lonely. Um, I'm pretty used to being by myself. I don't really think I'm a loner because I am very sociable at school. Sociable to the point where I annoy people. Sorry if I know anybody at school, but it just, you know, it, I just, I don't know why being around those people, it's like I go from being isolated to going into this place where there's all these people and I just like blow up. I get so excited because I love these people. I don't even know why. And I'm always trying to be nice and do the right thing, and that's just, it just feels natural to me because it's how my parents brought me up, it's how my religious group brought me up. And then, I just feel so bad because my mom thinks I'm such a good person and I'm not. And I, I just, it makes me, just, it makes me feel horrible. I make, I've made so many mistakes. and. I try to, I went to confession for it once, but I was only able to confess the thought, the things that I think were the, um, the easiest to confess, even though to most people they'd be, most people would consider them to be the hardest things to confess, but for me they were the easiest things to confess. And, uh, I'm sorry this many video is like nine, like almost nine minutes, and I'm sure you guys think it's crazy that I'm uploading this. I probably won't even look at this video afterwards. My advice to you, please, no matter how lonely you get, no matter how badly you feel you want attention, you want people in your life, just know, even if it feels, even if you feel lonely right now, even if you feel like you're not, your beliefs, whatever it is you believe in, I don't care what it is you believe in, but even if you feel like whatever it is you believe in is holding you back from experiencing things, please do not let go of your beliefs. Um, because you never know how it could hurt you in the end. And then it just like, it's like another, it's like another uh, scratch on that uh, religious, religious belief of mine. Um, it's like another dent in my religious faith that I can never take back for as long as I live. Um, just know that if you really work hard enough, someday 
your you holding to your beliefs, religious or moral, will pay off, and that you don't need to change who you are for somebody else. And for me, for example, I want a guy who is going to be willing to um, wait to marriage for me. Um, I don't care if the guy I marry isn't a virgin. I just hope that the people. I mean, I don't really care about a sexual past, except, you know, I, I really can't marry a guy who has an STD even if I love him because I want to have kids really badly someday. <laughs> Not now, but, like, years and years from now. I just cannot wait to get out of this stage of being a teenager and hating it and just, well, I, all I want to do is go to college, get my degree, work my ass off, fall in love and have babies. That's honestly all I want to do. I just want to bypass all of this shit. I'm totally done with it. Like, you don't even understand. I'm totally done with it. But anyways... And marry a guy who's going to respect me for who I am, make me feel beautiful, make me feel loved, make me feel wanted, make me happy. And I want to make friends who are going to support my beliefs, who I can just hang out with and be happy with. And I want to have children who never, ever have to question. I want, I want my kids to never, ever, ever have to question, ever, if um, their parents love them or not. I don't want them to ever have to have that question in their heads. I want them to always know that they will be loved by me. And I just don't want any of you guys out there to have, have to go through any of the shit that I've been through. Um, I want you guys to just stick to who you are, stick to the truth, and don't change yourself for somebody else. Please don't. And don't do something that you... If you if there's any part of you that's, like, pulling you back from doing something, please listen to that part. Please just look, take my advice and just please listen to that part. Okay? I'm sorry for getting teary-eyed. That's really, really, really ridiculous and immature of me, and I apologize. But this is a video that needed to go out there. And um, I don't get as much support for my videos as I used to, which kind of stinks. But at the same time, um, every time I see the views on my videos, all I can think about is out is thank God somebody got the message. Thank God. Hopefully I help somebody. Um, and to me, seeing more views is just me thinking, oh my God, I help more people. Um, whether I make them laugh, whether I make them have some more insight into their life, whether they f I made them feel less alone, or whether they just watched for entertainment. I don't think this is really a video for entertainment purposes, but just... I'm never at a loss of words. It just feels like my chest is being pounded on by something, and it's not like a heart attack feeling, it's like I deep cavity in my chest feeling. I feel weightless like I'm just floating through space. And, so, and at other times I feel like I'm a dumbbell being held down to the earth. But, but, um, I don't really have a plan for my life right now. Um, I mean, at first I was like really, really strong held in those, in the, um, weight loss journey I was going to take and in the academic success goal that I was going to take. And I know, I know there's a part of me that accomplished those things because in the past there was a girl who did accomplish those things, who did accomplish really successful weight loss and who did accomplish really good academic goals. I just don't know when I'll get to be that person again because this stuff that I'm dealing with is holding me down. But I, um, I hope to get over this roadblock someday. Okay. Adios. Come on, Donga. Good thing one dia. I love you guys. Bye bye.